and bring it to Jesus. Let us offer our sinful self to the hands of Jesus, which are wounded for me. He dripped off his blood for me, to save me, to gain me. Lord, I'm weak. Now I'm fallen. Stretch out your hands of mercy. Lift me up. As we acknowledge our sins, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries offering us of the mercy of God. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Nineveh was a 
exceedingly great city, three days' journey in bread. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's journey. And he cried, Yet for forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them to the least of them. Then tidings reached the king of Gideon, and he arose from his throne, removed his robe, and covered himself with sackcloth and sat in ashes. And he made a proclamation and published through Nineveh, by the decree of the king and his nobles, let neither man or beast, herd or flock, test anything. Let them not feed or drink water. But let man and beast be covered with dark cloth, and let them cry mightily to God. Ye, let everyone turn from his evil way and from the violence which is in his hands. Who knows? God may yet, yet relent and turn from his face anger, so that we perish not. When God saw what they had did, how they turned from their evil way, God relented of the evil which he had said he would do to them. And he did not do it. The word of the Lord.
good and not evil, that you may live, and so the Lord will be with you.
The Garden of Gethsemane. It's, it's a place so venerable for Christians. And you know, he gets his man, church, for his communion, he loves Christians. It was so special for Jesus also. That is why he chose this garden to pray and to feel the pain, to spend his time with his Abba before his death. We should see it. We should experience in the oh, sorry, not saying Paul Benedict the sixteenth when he is writing about this God, when he is explaining about this God, he will say like this each person who is going in now, now, at this time, each person as a pilgrimage, when they go to this Mount of Olives, when they go to this garden. They will feel those happiness Jesus felt in his body, in his mind, his soul. The same feelings they will get there. Yeah. 
actuality in Jesus at that moment, at that God. Jesus is kneeling down and praying. 